Good morning, everybody. Good morning. How's everybody doing this morning? I'm all right. Dude, that is a nice jacket. Thanks, it's L.L. Bean. And look, it's got the plaid like Matt Jackson's well, always has. You guys what? are like twinsing. What are we doing today? Well, we're here at uh, beautiful Big Bend, and uh, today we're going to go uh, do a little sightseeing. That's right. Uh, some canyons. We're going to see the Chisos. Yeah, Chisos, Santa Atlanta Canyon. Go down to the Rio, Rio Bravo. Maybe see Mexico. Yeah. Throw a, throw, skip a rock across the, the river there. And hope you've uh, enjoyed the previous episode today. Like, yeah. Uh, our hope is, is that more more see the sights. More less, seeing, less working. Less working on the bus. Less working on Volkswagens this episode. So stay with us as we explore Big Ben. That's the plan. We said we'd not be working on Volkswagens today, but Jason's bus isn't starting. VW Life. Later. Over. All right, turn it over, boss. No, no spark. Turn it over, boss. Okay, fire in the hole. Ah, yeah. All right. The point's closed up. We I said we were going for it. Wouldn't be a. Wouldn't be a. All right. Bus yeah. bash if the point's being closed up. Yeah. Got a little bit of an issue over here. Oh, look, he's down. If you uh, you need to turn, you just need to come straight. You need to turn your wheels to the towards me. Turn your wheels towards me and come this way. All right. Tell Jake not to do that. Don't you make out. There, now you're level. God damn it, dude. All right, go. Yeah, boy. Woo! side of the Chisos Basin and we're gonna eat lunch here. All right, lunch accomplished in Big Ben. <laughs> we accomplished lunch. We were, you know, there's not many things we're good at. We can't accomplish lunch. So we're heading uh, about 27 miles to the Santa Atlanta Canyon. Mm -hmm. And you're coming with us. So if you like what you're seeing, hit the like button and subscribe and leave us a comment. Oh, hey, that's your bus. You, you gotta, gotta pick it up. One million oh. followers after this. You better go clean that up. This is a national park. <laughs> Go to Mexico! 
Mexico. Go to Mexico. Wow. This is the Rio Grande. Look at those people way up there. Sorry yeah. about the wind if it's windy, but there's a trail that leads all the way down through the canyon there, Matt Jackson. This is amazing. Right, we left the canyon and now we're gonna take another dirt road about 17 miles. It's called Old Maverick Road. I might be out of gas, I might be broke down, I don't know. I was out of gas. What did I do to tell him at the last stop? Matt Jackson, why don't you go ahead and put gas in there? True, true. Well, Gary, another dirty road, another dirty drive. Yeah, I don't like those roads. I like when we're just crawling. But crawling. That, yeah, the washboards get really... Washboard, but we saved 30 miles. Yeah, it was... Literally. It was 17 miles of washboards versus 47. Yeah. Now we're uh, in Study Butte. Study Butte, and we're gonna get gas and provisions, ice, and find somewhere to camp. Yeah, that's plant stand. Woo! Let's have some more. Man, I love the big bin bus pack. So today we drove around, and Matt Jackson broke down. And ran Again. out of gas. And ran out of gas. Again. <laughs> we uh, saw, went to Santa Elena Canyon. It was awesome. Yeah. It was 1,500 feet high. An old Maverick Road. Old roads and old buses. Not a good combination. Yeah. I'm beat. Like the, all the Baltic birch screws are loose. Mine the, are too. Uh, oh, I found one sitting in my uh, just, thing. But yeah. also my uh, safari window latch. Yeah. It just fell off. Yeah. But you said it earlier about the injury bug. Someone always gets bit by the, uh, the breakdown bug. Yep, and I had a good long run, didn't I, before I hit You me. did, Matt Jackson. And then, Dal, you uh, you got the short straw this year. But that's okay. We'll take care of you, buddy. Yeah, we don't want you stressing. Go camping. You know, you can go you can go camping in a Beetle, too. Oh, yeah. I've seen it. Yeah. But if you got a bus, get that thing out there and go camping and uh, join up with some buddies and make your own bus bash, man. That's what it's all about. All right. If you see a light, it's Jake's fart lighting. <laughs> Oh, I can't go with pressure. Oh, that was weak. It's the wind. Is that a little girl fart? Man, I always had stories about the city life and the crazy nights. Figure I should probably give it a try. Baby, check it out. See what it's all about. But the traffic was fast and the money was slow. The people I met you never get to know. I kind of miss this place I used to. I'm tired of feeling like a small fish in a big pond. I think I go back where I can. Here we are, uh, day five. Right? Yes, you have your day five beard going. Dude, I'm looking for. I'm looking kind of like you. I got the mountain man Matt Jackson look going. You're a little haggard from the road. <laughs> haggard. I'm a haggard from a lot right now. So is Willie. Let's just say this has been a survival for uh, for the guru on this one, man. Yeah, day five. I know this video is all over the place, but we've had adventures galore here in Big Bend. We've seen some beautiful country, some some sights. I mean, this is our seventh year to come down here. It's so ginormous there's so much to see that we yeah. haven't seen before so we've been seeing some good stuff and we got to have a campfire last night and eat marshmallows and light farts let's just make that really clear on who lit the farts i had i, I was I ain't no way that boy came from my loins today we head north yeah north. we make start making trails back we made an executive decision that we're not going to bust our tails on the way home so we're going to split it yeah by 600 miles i think because we're so far down here in the park right now you know we'll just uh there's jake you know, here making some toast. Heavy W lifers. And uh, we'll uh, make trails. Wishing us good luck on these uh, old buses as they uh, start yeah. going uphill. Yeah, uphill and into the wind. <laughs> yeah, you know it's going to be a head wind. Yeah. Never fails. Yep. Join us as we head head back home, basically. Yep. Put, uh, put, beginning to put the uh, penultimate day of Big Ben Bus Bash 7 into the books. 
We just left the campsite and Gary got a red light, meaning either no oil or no charging. I'm not sure which one that is. All right, we're back on the road. It looks like he just needs to replace the brushes on his generator and we'll be doing that at the next pit stop and hopefully we're good to go. Ain't no life but the VW life. Ain't that the truth? <laughs> <laughs> So, that so that's what wears yeah and it charges so Spring. when it goes bad enough it just gets like that yeah is and this then, almost something you want to do like every other tune-up or something yeah you need to check them no well now it's not starting so we're gonna just short out the uh neutral he got the brush in there oh, excellent. yeah Ooh. it sounded a little weak <laughs> Tradition, a tradition like no other, a stop at the old DQ. That's what I like about Texas. <laughs> That's what I it's, like about it's Texas. It's a Texas stop sign. See there, there's a Texas blizzard. Oh my gosh, a beetle. It's like a 63. It is a 63. Just you just picked this up? Um, one of my friends is a road racer and he lives in, in Australia uh -huh. and he's decided to sell some of his cars, but he's giving me this. Wow. So. You just picked this up today? Today, yeah. There's a car. There's a car museum here. Oh, okay. And so, but I need to figure out where reverse is. Okay. It has a clutch thing. Yeah. Um, this is going to be an adventure. What's yes. your name? My name is Colette. Congratulations, Colette. Thank you. I'm kind of excited. You know, we've we've learned our lessons on I-10. You know, safety first. So we've got some. Yeah. Safety first. On I-10. All right, a little update. I have no charging system, so I have no headlights. I have no yeah, search signal. So I have the CB radio plugged into my camping battery. I was able to grab it with the tire iron from the back. This is VR. All right, I have no power, but I have motor, so we're gonna run with no headlights. So we're gonna see how far we can go VW Life. That ain't going anywhere. All right, so I'm not charging. My alternator's dead. We'll see how this turns out. Almost made it to camp. We got headlights. Very, very functional headlights, right? And tail lights. Very functional tail light. Right there, that's the clutch. Move yeah, right so there. we're 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 really safe here at VW Life. This is, uh, this is VW Life. This is probably like the, I said. The safest, safest hey, thing we've done. you know what? Most people drive Hondas. This is why. Most people want to. Hey, you know what? There ain't no channel called Honda Life. <laughs> there might be. It like, would suck. It's not nearly as good. <laughs> All right, I'm rolling behind Jake. No headlights. I mean, I have those little lights out there, but. As you can see, pretty much no headlights. We're about an hour from the campsite, so that'll be good. We're about 30 minutes from the campsite, and Gary got a red light, so it's either a belt or a charging issue. The brush is worn down. It's on the magnet generator. Really? Yeah, that, bu that brush is gone all the way down. It wore the brush all the way down. Generator, right. Back on the road, Gary got the generator brush replaced. There's something screwy with his generator. So we're back on the road. Some of the group is trying to head back tonight. And, and some of us are gonna stay in, Nar stay in Menard after 12 hours on the road, so. We're saying our goodbyes. Twelve hours on the road, and uh, we're gonna call it a night here in Menard, Texas. No, I think 
can't wear the Twilight Zone in my taxi. It was magic. <laughs> Helga just miraculously has no no voltage whatsoever and decides to start this morning. Yes, she felt like, you know what, maybe today's not my day. <laughs> Here in beautiful Menard. Menard. Day 18. Day 18. We've got 100 and what miles? 140 miles to go. And the other crew made it home safely. Yeah, they made it home around midnight last night. That's good to hear. I was uh, already sawing logs by that time. But yeah, man. we're going to limp home. We hope you've enjoyed what you've seen. You know, we just sling the camera the whole time. It's hard to really show what all we've gone through. We didn't even film. No, no, it's the heartache and the heartbreak and the, the, heart the pain and the anguish. Oh, God, God, God. Oh. Yeah. Changing points. We're trying to keep it happy. Changing carbs and changing fuel pumps and yeah. putting fuel pumps back together. <laughs> so uh, thanks for joining us. Uh, it's, it's been, been an adventure, buddy. As Another always. one in the books until well, we make it home. We we haven't put it in the books yet. That's right. We got one chapter to write. That's right. 140 mile chapter. All right, guys. All right, stick with us.